share my story. Whatever this thing is, it's here to stay. There we go. That that looks more sensual. It is just like my story animated. I used to react to that a long time ago. Hadn't really seen any of these stories in a fat minute, so I figured that why not? Let's go ahead and watch some of these videos. Uh, there's a lot of them that are actually, uh, you know, very interesting. I've had quadruplets at age 17. Wowee! Oh my god, I can't... Like, what kind of video is that, dude? Why, why would anyone want to know about, like, this girl who had quadruplets at 17? Well, 597,000 people actually disagree with me on that, but... Um, abandoned because I'm allergic to water. Yeah, no, that seems very interesting. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's, that's really cool. And then, of course, there's all-time favorites as I hate you brother and my brother is a psychopath there, there's just so many videos that are on here that like really 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 hit that mark on animation videos but there's one at least on here that I see from the very start that has over a million views on it and I think it's going to be very interesting so I want to go ahead and watch it with you guys my crazy school trip don't know anything about it looks like that they're gonna get a little frisky frisky inside the boat right there Let's go ahead and see. Ms. Lopez was easily the best looking teacher at our school. So sometimes I gave her compliments like, Miss Lopez, you look stunning Miss Lopez? Oh. Ooh, Miss Lopez, oh. Uh, so I can get an eight in, in your class? Uh, can, can I uh, touch, touch you? Um, I, I'll, I'll be a good student in your class if you can let me touch, like, bro. <laughs> being thirsty for your teacher, that's always going to be bad. You. That means a lot coming from a handsome boy like you. She that that wouldn't work anyway. The teacher would not do that shit in front of the other students. Like that that does not work that way. So I can already see this as being bullshit. <laughs> teacher flirts so openly with her student. Well, for the how can a teacher flirt so openly with a student? Stripper Santa. I'm not exaggerating. The principal even made her change her outfit because it was too short. That's the kind of woman she was. What? Mr. Principal, why can't I wear my scantily clown outfit? Eh? Idiot. Idiot teacher. Just so stupid, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand how these are made into stories. I, I don't get it. YouTube, what are you doing? You're still not subscribed to this channel? What in the world? 93% of you guys are not subscribed. Consider subscribing today so that we can get some more content. And you should probably hit the bell if you want to get notified, but just 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 focus on subscribing, okay? 93% of you. Come on. You can do it. Thanks. When I failed my Spanish exam and asked Miss Lopez if she would let me pass the course yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, can, can you let me pass? I, I know that you've been uh, spreading your legs at me. I will give you a B plus in your report card. Uh -huh. You give me a compliment that makes me blush. Oh. <laughs> oh, I completely just had a dyslexic moment. All I saw was a bush at the end, and I'm like, you you want him to compliment your bush? But no, it, it's blush. It's blush. I'm sorry. Well, that's easy, Miss Lopez, because you are so beautiful that I would date you even if you were my own daughter. I wondered if... What? What? <laughs> I would date you even if... What kind of statement is that, bro? No, no, I don't, I don't want to ever hear that again. You little perv. You have such a dirty mind. But okay, I'll let you pass the course. Okay, if she also talks like that, I would be wondering if, like, Miss Johnson or who, who, who was this again? I don't even know who this is at this point. I, I don't, I don't trust this lady. Okay. Or did too much though, because rumors spread that Miss Lopez and I were having an affair. The guys thought it was cool and gave me props, but oh, it's Miss Lopez. Okay, it. girlfriend Whitney. She completely freaked out when Miss Lopez told me. I can't believe you haven't found a girlfriend yet. You are such a cutie. Okay, so then, then this, then this also doesn't make any sense. He has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend, but he goes up to the teacher and he's like, "I could see your bush, ma'am. It looks very nice." And the teacher's just like. Fuck me, even if I was your daughter. And he has a girlfriend on top of that. And she watched all that shit go down. How is she not stepping in? The girlfriend is just as much at fault here as the boy. She is not stepping into this and fixing any of this. Or, you know, reporting this to the principal or the superintendent. No, she's just like, I don't care, girlfriend. Like, okay, no one cares. I am his girlfriend. And now stop hitting on him, you shameless tramp. What? He is dating you. This is like the weirdest anime I have ever watched in my entire life. What? He's dating you? 
What a shame. He could do so much better. If that wasn't mean enough, Miss Lopez asked me to stay for a private talk after class. Oh, yeah, that yeah, no, definitely stay. The, the, that would make the situation better. Said, you are just a sad old lady who can't find a guy. That's oh, told, told her. Run away from me. <laughs> oh, I can have any man I want. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Now, now we're getting into the juicy part. Now she's saying that she can have any man that she wants. But there's a problem here. There's a very, very, very big problem here. It's not a man. That is a child. Your boyfriend and I have a special connection. I just can't get him out of my mind. As revenge, Whitney drew an unflattering caricature of her on the blackboard. When oh, Lopez yeah, no, that will show her. She immediately said, Whitney, did you draw that? Possibly. Huh? Why? Does the drawing remind you of someone? Look, if you have a problem with my clothing style, just tell it to my face. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Imagine having a cat fight with one of your students because you're an idiot. Well, why don't we ask the guys? Hey, listen up. If you think I'm better dressed than Whitney... Oh, oh, okay, that, that's, that's not fair. That's, that's not fair at all. Because every guy in there is going to be like, Oh, yeah. can, can I, can I see? Can I see more? Oh, your front is that butt unbuttoned. Oh, yeah, no, this is great. This is my teacher, so, yeah, th no, I'm going to be cool. All the boys sided with Miss Oh, uh, yeah, no, it, so mad what, what, what a surprise. throwing a water bottle at her. And the following week, we went on three... Oh, okay, okay. Now we're getting to the even juicier part. Now they're going on a camping trip. Let's see what happens out in the woods. Because, you know, out in the woods, it's the same rules as Vegas. What happens there stays there. So, yeah, I I think there's going to be threesomes going on. What do you think? We wanted to do a canoe tour, so Miss Lopez split us up into teams of two. When I was left without a partner, she said... Looks like we are together, my cutie. Oh my god! No way! My boyfriend stays with me! Actually, I am the teacher, and I got to decide. Uh, um, 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 th this is the creepiest conversation. How does it have 25,000 likes? And Miss Lopez was forced to call her parents so they would pick her up. But first, Whitney took me aside and said, Promise me to stay away from that witch! I can't. She's my teacher. Are you serious? I, I can't stay away from her. She showed me her. <laughs> now I gotta be with her. I'm sorry. I know you're my girlfriend and I, I love you so much, but I'm gonna cheat on you tonight. I can't help it. She's my teacher. And I am your girlfriend, and you do what I tell you to do. But of course, I didn't. The canoe tour. Uh, well, okay. Now, now you're painting her as the bad guy here. Now you're saying that she is the one who has messed up. That that that's not cool. Trying to pin the girlfriend where her boyfriend is actually cheating on her with her fucking teacher. Yeah, that that's not cool. It was awesome. Miss Lopez wore a hot sundress, and we had a nice chat. There's something wrong with your girlfriend. Yeah, she's kind of annoying. Then just break up with her. Why sit there and be like, oh yeah, so you're kind of annoying. Then break up with her. No one's forcing you to stay. Not just a girl. I don't think so. <coughs> Not yet. Well, I think I can change that. What do you think? Can you put some sunscreen on my shoulders? Oh. Touching and massaging. Ew. Oh, oh god, that, that was... That was a very unpleasant sound for something that's supposed to actually be a little more family friendly than what it's bringing itself out to be. Oh, <laughs> so good. But we didn't go any further. Not even a little kiss. Only on the last oh, night of oh. our trip, Miss Lopez came to my bed and whispered, I want you to act sick tomorrow morning so we can stay here another night while everyone else drives home. Oh my god. <laughs> Be sick, be sick. I'm gonna jump your bones. <laughs> bad stomachache. And then <laughs> Miss Lopez came into the dorm saying, Oh, my poor baby. You look awful. Uh. You're not fit to go in the bus and drive home. But don't worry. <laughs> oh my god, why does she sound like Corella DeVille? Poor <laughs> baby. <laughs> was perfect. Once everyone was gone, Ms. Lopez put her arms around me and kissed me on my mouth. We kept going for hours until I got a message from Whitney asking, Why did you come back home? You were sick. Of course I didn't. Just, just break up with her. Just break up with her. Jeez. God, 
Ah! And Ms. Lopez was more important than my girlfriend. But in the evening, we yeah, that's to gonna bite you in the ass, bro. That's when Whitney stormed in. She threw Miss Lopez to the ground and screamed. There you are, seducing teenagers. You should go to prison for the rest of your life. Stop it, Whitney. I'm 18. Miss Lopez and I can do. Oh, oh, want. okay. So, so you're 18. So yeah, you're the legal adult age, but. That doesn't mean that you're an adult, buddy. I'm 27 years... Well, uh, I'm almost 27 years old. July 26 is going to be my birthday, by the way. I'm almost 27 years old, and even I don't act like a correct adult. So, yeah, you're not even close, my guy. What? Yeah, listen to your boyfriend. He likes me more than you. She leaned over and started kissing me again. It was so good, but... Then Whitney pulled Ms. Lopez's hair again, and they started fighting over me. Oh, okay, so so not not only not only is the teacher seducing the teenager and doing something that's illegal, now she's also being aggressive with the other teenager and fighting with the other teenager. Yeah, that's not going to help your case either, Miss Lopez, because now you're fighting with an underage person. It was a lot of fun to watch, but I had to separate them. Whitney, go home. I'm breaking up with you. Oh my god, it's about time. Yeah, bye Whitney. Get the fuck out of here. Because he finally said it uh, almost near the end of the goddamn video. You lost. Your boyfriend chose me because I'm way hotter than you. That's when Whitney started crying. I felt bad and wanted to give her a hug. But Ms. Lopez stepped between us and threw her beer all over Whitney. Oh, uh, okay, okay, that, that, that wasn't cool. That, that wasn't cool. It, you already got her down. And you already took her boyfriend away. You don't have to fucking throw a beer on her, okay? D d don't don't be a c all right? Yeah, I did say the c word. What of it? You get what you deserve, chica. <sighs> then Miss Lopez took me to her room, and we made out until sunrise. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You you made out until sunrise. You're telling me that you stayed celibate that entire damn night. You you didn't try to touch titty. You didn't go for. You didn't do any of that shit. You just made out the entire night. Yeah, no. Even though I still felt <coughs> guilty. When I got back home, I immediately messaged Whitney. I'm sorry for how I treated you, and I hope I haven't hurt you. Yeah, I, I, I hope she I hope she doesn't forgive him. I hope she doesn't forgive him. I hope she's just like, you know what? You could be with the teacher. She's she's a disgusting piece of shit anyway, and so are you. Bye bye uh, Yeah, don't take him back. Badly. She responded with photos of Ms. Lopez's car. The windows were smashed, oh. and the whole car was covered in graffiti with nasty words on it. I guess women are just crazy when it comes to dating men. You're digging yourself into a hole, bro! I guess women are just crazy when it comes to dating- What? What? <laughs> bro! God damn! Dropping bombs over here. Dropping bombs on his- you know, worth and self-respect for women, but, you know, <laughs> wow.